What's up guys, today we're talking about skill gems in Path of Exile. Path of Exile is a complicated game and therefore I feel like it would be a good idea to give you some general guidelines on how these skill gems work, how we can link them and all that kind of good stuff and hopefully you guys will find it useful so you don't make the same mistakes as I did when I started playing Path of Exile. Like for instance having 12 skill gems in your inventory and not having any skills equipped. Hmm. Anyway, I hope you find it useful and thank you for watching. What's up guys, Lifting Nerd Bro here and today we're talking about skill gems and how they will give you abilities in Path of Exile. Because if you compare Path of Exile to things such as Diablo, which I originally came from, you would uh, be kind of confused because you wouldn't experience getting any skill gems when you level up such as you do in Diablo. In Path of Exile you equip skills and uh, what do I mean by that? As you can see, we have no skills down here. We only have our default attack, which everybody starts out with. Let's kill this zombie. Now, this zombie will always drop a skill gem. And depending on what kind of class you are, it will drop a different skill gem. For the duelist, it always drops cleave. So let's pick up cleave. To be able to use cleave, this is an ability, by the way. This is an ability. This will make you able to do other stuff than just your default attack. To be able to use this ability, we need to have a weapon with the right colored socket. And luckily for us, we found a rusted sword right when we started out. This rusted sword has a red skill socket, a green skill socket, and a blue skill socket. Now, let's try putting Cleave into this one. Take a look down in the bottom right corner. Oh yeah, that's right. All of a sudden, we have the Cleave ability. Let me show how that works. This is the default attack. This is what we all start out with. And this is the cleave attack. Okay, so the take home message here guys, is that to be able to use a skill in Path of Exile, you will have to equip it in a, right, in a rightly colored socket. In Path of Exile, we have three different types of skill gems. We have the red strength based skill gem, we have the green dexterity based skill gem and we have the blue intelligence based skill gem and if we have the right equipment we can equip them all at the same time now luckily for us we still have this uh, tri-colored sword and we can equip all of the skills here let's try doing that we're gonna put in cleave you already saw that ability we're gonna put in double strike and as you can see we gain double strike down here and we're gonna put in spark as well so now we have three different abilities. Let's try using one of those. This is Spark. All right. This is Cleave that you already know. No, sorry, that was Double Strike. This is Double Strike, yes. And this is Cleave that you already saw in the beginning. Now each of these skill gems will gain experience just as your character does when he kills monsters. So let's try killing a monster over here and let's see if we can level up our skill gem. Let's kill these guys. Oh, and what happened? Our skill gem leveled up. How lucky for us. Let's kill these before we do anything. Now, when you press this plus logo here, your skill gem will level up. When a skill gem levels up, it generally becomes stronger, but the requirements also go up. For red skill gems, that usually means that the strength requirement will go up or the mana cost will go up. For the green based dexterity gem, it means that the dexterity cost of the skill gem to be able to use it will generally go up as well as the mana cost. And for the blue intelligence gem, that also means that the intelligence requirements will go up as well. Now, every time that a skill gem levels up, it will get new requirements. And if you don't meet the requirements, you will not be able to level up your skill gem. So let's say that Spark requires 150 intelligence to level up. And since we only have 14, we will not be able to level up Spark. But when we reach 150 intelligence, we will be able to. And to show you that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this graph on the left side of the screen. And as you can see, every time Spark levels up, it gains a new intelligence requirement and a new level requirement. And the same goes for dexterity-based gems and strength-based gems. 
Instead, they are, of course, uh, requiring more strength and dexterity. The level cap of skill gems is level 20. And to be able to reach level 20 on a skill gem, you will have to farm a lot. It takes a long while for your skill gems to reach level 20. In my personal experience, I am normally around level 89, 91 uh, on my character when my skill gems reach level 20. So as you can hear, it takes quite a while. One of the really cool things in Path of Exile is that you can link your active skills to support skills. And how does that function? Well, let's take this fireball. This is an active skill gem and it basically means that it will give us an ability such as fireball such as cleave as you saw earlier that is an active skill gem active skill gems can be paired with support gems and support gems works by buffing the active skill gem so let's try using greater multiple projectiles here greater multiple projectiles will give us four additional projectiles and since Greater multiple projectiles is linked with fireball. We should now have more fireball projectiles. Let's try shooting out a fireball. Oh yes, and as you can see, we're now shooting out additional projectiles. We can also try to link fireball with this support gem called Spell Echo. And as you can see, it will uh, make us do a little less damage, but we will also repeat the spell that we're casting an additional time and will gain more cast speed. So let's take a look at how that functions. This is one click and we're shooting out two volleys of fireballs. Let's try checking it off again. As you can see, a fireball is being cast slower and we're only casting one volley. We equip this, we're now casting two volleys and we are casting them a lot faster. And the same goes with these support skills. This support skill concentrated effect will give us more area damage. So that basically means that when we're shooting out a fireball, the AOE damage of the fireball will deal more damage. Fire penetration will decrease the resistances of the enemy and make fireball do more damage. And as you can see, fireball has these, or the logo of fireball down here now has these um, letters attached to it. And that's because we have linked fireball with these support gems. If we take off greater multiple projectiles, you'll notice that one of the letters disappeared now. And now it should of course be noted that in order for your active skill gems, such as fireball here, for it to be supported by the support gems, it has to be linked together with these gems. As you can see, there's a link between each of the sockets here, and that's why we can use all of these support effects with fireball. If we were to put fireball down here, see we now have fireball and it isn't linked with anything. We could try to put spell echo down here, but fireball would still not be linked to anything because it lacks the link between the two sockets. If we, however, did decide to put greater multiple projectiles here, fireball would now be linked with greater multiple projectiles and it would look like this. And another thing that of course needs to be said is that you can't link active skill gems with other active skill gems. So let's say I have my fireball here and uh, I have righteous fire here. Righteous fire is an active spell gem as well. If I put this or if I try to link it that with fireball, that's not going to do anything. You have to link it with support gems and you can always read on the skill if it is a support gem or an active skill gem. As you can see at the very top, support AOE, spell support, fire support, and support projectile. And that also means that not all support gems can support different kinds of active skill gems. In order for greater multiple projectiles to work, it has to support a skill that uses projectiles, such as fireball up here. As you can see, fireball is fire, projectile, spell, and AOE. And that's also why things such as concentrated effect can be used on fireball because this is a support gem that works on AOE damage. So always make sure that when you're trying to link skills that the support gem supports the actual active skill gem. I now feel that we have covered 
most of the basic knowledge that you guys need to know about when you're venturing in rail class. But here's the take home message. Remember, skills is not gained when you level up, they are gained by equipping a skill gem. A blue skill gem will not fit a green or red skill socket. It will only fit a blue socket and the same of course goes for the others as well. Skill gems gain experience just as you do, but in order to make them level up, you will need to meet the requirements of the skills. For instance, a flat intelligence requirement for a blue skill gem. It takes a lot of time of farming to reach level 20 on a skill gem, remember that. And support skill gems doesn't do anything on their own, but when linked with an active skill gem, they can add an additional effect and buffs to the skill. The last thing is that different skills require different support gems. For instance, Greater Multiple Projectiles requires an active skill gem that uses projectiles in order for it to work. So don't try to use things such as faster casting on a melee attack because that is not going to work since it's not a spell that is being cast. It is a melee skill and for melee skills you're using things such as faster attacks. That's it for now guys. I hope you guys found this information useful, especially you beginners out there. When I first got into Path of Exile I ran around until I was, I think it was level 11 until I realized that I was not going to gain any skills by leveling up. I had to find them and I think I had four or five skill gems in my inventory, but I just, <laughs> I didn't know at that time that I had to equip them. So hopefully you won't make the same mistake as me guys. And uh, well, thank you for watching and bros, do you even nerd?